What's going on guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. But before I get into the story, because I got a great story for you guys today. Uh, you're going to be watching some hardcore gameplay. Yes, I'm going for Dark Matter. I believe this shotgun's called the Breachy. It's with the B something. And I just do absolutely phenomenal with it. So let's get right into the story. So I would never forget, back in Black Ops 1, my first kind of like pro team, low tier pro team was Fly Society. It consists of me, Fusion, Reg Nasty, and Waff. We were a pretty dirty team. I would say at our best, we're top 6, top 8. And if we weren't playing too hot, like top 12, I guess, top 16. And this was the first event I was ever going to. It was MLG 2011 Columbus. Uh, a lot of teams were obviously preparing for that. This is my first ever major line event. So a lot of you guys can just think about like how nervous I was, how happy and excited I was at the same time. And a lot of you guys know Optic back then. And the team was Big Timer, Merc, Cap, and Rambo. Just hearing those names on one team, you can obviously already think like how talented that squad was. And before going to the event, we actually scrimmed them a couple times. And I was very proud and happy with the way I performed against them. Even though they were just scrimmed, uh, I played pretty well. I was popping three pieces. And I never really had a chance to play Optic. I mean, who gets a chance like that? The only reason I kind of had a chance to scrim was, like I said, uh, my team Fly Society. A lot of these guys were like COD4 players, MW2 players. They're pretty much like pros. They weren't the best pros, but they're pros, so we managed to scrim them. So going into the event, the crazy part is that they were in our pool. Now, Optic being in your pool, you're obviously going to be a little nervous, a little scared. Everyone knows they're a fucking dominant team. And I don't even know who else was in our pool, but we managed to go one and two in our first three matches. Now, beating Optic was the only way we'd pretty much get out of the pool. Uh, even though we might be tied, I don't know if we, we would have won head to head. But later on, what I'm going to tell you now is we actually beat Optic. We were the only team to beat Optic that event. They went to go on, and after they made it out of the pool, they went to win the whole event, which is pretty crazy. I believe they didn't lose any matches. You know, they went straight from winners all the way through. And the funny thing is, once we lost, and after the event, we're like, well, at least we can say we're the only team to beat Optic. And it was pretty crazy. It was a crazy experience, you know, beating them. And, uh, and, and a funny little part like through in the story is that Rambo raged so hard when we beat them. Rambo was so pissed at, at Fwiz, because Fwiz was their coach at the time. He was so pissed. He was raging. He was like almost cursing. He was literally cursing out Fwiz like after they lost. Or I don't know if it was mid-series. Because I think Fwiz was like coaching kind of bad. He was making them really anti. Making them panic. Uh, giving them bad call plays or bad call outs. So Rambo really like couldn't take it. And I mean I guess it paid off right. Because they went to win on the event. So I guess you know. You know, sometimes you got to really straighten everything out. You got to make sure everyone's on the same page. So pretty much what ended up happening. This is how I got my first autograph ever from Merc himself. Optic Merc. The way this happened was it was Sunday night. You know, they won. They were celebrating. They're in the hotel lobby. You know how a lot of you guys know. A lot of you guys know this. Like, that's how it goes down. Like, everyone chills at the lobbies, chills at the restaurant or go somewhere. And we we're celebrating. They were celebrating. You know, you know, they were just chilling out there, talking to everybody. And I sit down with Merc, and you know, obviously I don't know Merc too much. He obviously knows probably a little bit who I am, but I'm kind of a, kind of a random to the scene. Like he knows who my teammates are probably are, but he doesn't know too much about me. He's obviously played against me a couple times online, but he doesn't know like a lot about me. So you know, we're just chilling there. I start talking to him, and I'm like, congrats, whatever. I, I don't even remember too much what I said, but all I know is I was talking to him. I said congrats and everything, and he was like, he like said straight up to me, he's like, dude, one day like you're gonna be fucking amazing like he like i'm not even gassing he's like one day like you're good like just give it some time and a year or two you're gonna be amazing you're gonna be a really good player and that really i would never forget that that really i guess touched my heart in a way and made me be like like really like it hit me in, in a soft spot you know because like i know i was good at the game at the time i know i had that raw talent but obviously i needed more experience i need to play more i need to get more into the scene so that really like it just, it just made me feel good, made me feel happy, you know. Even though he was, like, in a happy place, you know, he was in La La Land. But, you know, I mean, because I, I obviously after winning, you're just happy as fuck, you know. But it just made me feel happy in a way. And then I remember joking, like, joking. I was just jokingly telling him, can I have your autograph? You know, <laughs> I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm a clown. You guys know that, you know. I'm a clown. I like to be a clown sometimes. And I was, like, jokingly, I'm like, yo, can I have your autograph? <laughs> he's like, yeah, you got a pen? I was like, wait, is this shit happening for real right now? I couldn't believe that this was gonna happen. It just felt so weird. I felt like such a fanboy. When it realistically, like, I don't know, I'm not really a fanboy. Especially, I mean, if I was, like, not competing and if I wasn't playing and I was a pure, like, spectator fan, then obviously, you know, I'd be so happy and, like, I wouldn't do it jokingly. But I'm a player, you know, obviously I know who he is. 
and it just felt weird but it was so funny at the same time and i just went along with it he's like yeah if you have a pen i was like wait let me get one and i think we got one from like the bar or something i'm like here you go and he literally wrote <laughs> his auto he gave me an autograph on my hand like that's where he gave me the autograph and i remember i could I, I literally tweeted a picture at the time i had like 1k followers not even i probably had like five six hundred followers and i tweeted out the picture saying got an autograph um uh joey d and I, I actually got the proof right here i'm gonna give you guys this proof right here so as you guys can see i did ask him for his autograph and i had it on top of my hand i literally took another picture i couldn't find that tweet unfortunately and i had it on top of my hand went to the airport with it you know i was so proud of it i literally had it <laughs> like all the way home and i had it for like half that day at home as well it was literally crazy would you say i'm a big fan of optic merc aka joey d of course i am great player great guy great attitude he's won a lot you know i, I have nothing but respect for joey d but either way guys i hope you enjoyed this little cool story this funny little story about me asking for an optics merc autograph and i hope you enjoyed the gameplay as well this is been your boy apathy have a great day and i'm out peace